I grew up as crazy as it sounds watching Joe Mannix and, and all those old police shows and I wanted to be a cop from the moment I can remember wanting to be anything. When I went to college I had a couple different majors and, and, and when I kind of discovered there was such a thing as criminal justice. Times were a little different then, you know, you don't, you know, we didn't really pay attention to the other majors, so I loved it. I mean, it was something, my grades went up, my attendance in class was way better. I, I was a much better student when I got into, I really loved it and still do. I mean, I find it fascinating. Back then there was, it was really hard to get on the city police and I really wanted to be a city of Pittsburgh policeman. So I, you know, I started taking borough tests in the area and took the Bethel Park job and it was, um, you know, it was a really big borough outside of Pittsburgh. So it was, busy and active and it was a really good place it was near my where I grew up I really literally worked uh, steady night turn as a policeman so I could go to the school the next morning and coach they used to call me the vampire because I worked either 11 to 7 or 8 to 4 every night what got me out of it was I got hired at Duquesne you know I um, for three years I was I was a Bethel Park policeman and a, um, uh, a, a coach a head football coach I mean I was 26 years old you know it was a little crazy we just had our oldest daughter, Jackie, and I uh, was really running a lot. I think being a policeman was really a, the biggest thing to help me mature. You know, I was a little bit of a wild man when I was young and as a young coach, and, but I kind of learned how to talk to people and how to deal with different, you know, every different situation. It's a tough job, and I respect them a great deal for what they do.